Hey everybody, Rumblin' Man signing in today just for a, a quick demo. If you are into bass drive sounds, or if you're not into it yet and just beginning to get into it and you think it's a sound that you want in your arsenal, I think you can't possibly go wrong with the EBS Billy Sheehan pedal. This pedal allows you to combine clean and drive tones, giving you endless possibilities with your sound. You may say, Rumblin' Man, well as a bass player, you know, do I need drive? I'm still trying to figure this thing out. Well. It depends on the gig. It depends on what kind of music you're going to be playing. Personally, I've never used a lot of drive in my bass. Uh, and when I did use it live, maybe one time, I just dialed in just a little grit on a pedal I had. Uh, however, there's other circumstances in which you may be called upon to use drive in your sound. Um, I think of bass as mainly a clean instrument, um, uh, keeping effects to a minimum and using them very, very tastefully. But if drive is one of the effects that you want to use, I think this is great because of the way you can blend the clean tone and the drive tone. Another thing is this thing has a built-in compressor, so if you're using this for your drive, you're going to eliminate the need of a compression pedal, unless you have one that you like better. You can turn the compressor to high, mid, or off. For knobs, we've got a drive knob, a tone knob, a level knob, and a clean channel knob. I want to demo it a little bit today and you can see some of the sounds you can get with this thing. There's also a great video with Billy Sheehan talking about it himself on YouTube which I recommend checking out. I'm not using an interface today, I'm actually going to be using the mic on this Zoom Q2 in camera. Uh, the camera and the pedal are on loan from my buddy Ed Hauser who I would like to thank so much for making this review possible today. God bless you bro. <laughs> I want to show you guys, if I were going to use this pedal, how I personally would do it. Um, I like just a little bit of grit with bass, so I would take the drive down. So this is going to determine the drive itself. How much drive, how loud. This is going to determine the level of the drive. I would boost the clean signal uh, pretty heavily. I would turn down the drive and the level. I mean, there's so many possibilities, really, if you if you take a look at uh, what all you can do, what all drive sounds you can get. You're going to hear a little bit of buzz coming out of this speaker over here. It's the only speaker that I've got with me. Unwanted static, but just ignore that. So. Just gives you that little bit of snarl, you know, I think with drive, um, I'm a big fan of keeping bass tones as clean as possible. And what this does is it helps you kind of blend those two things. So if I turn the drive back up a little bit and I keep the clean boosted and I want to do some pick rock. got a great tone for that. So if you're going to add drive to your bass, I personally think this is the way to do it, man. What a great pedal. So you're playing a P bass and you want to slap, well, you know, let's take the tone way up. And clean way up, let's, uh, let's throw a little drive in there. Just a little bit. To me, that really helps with the whole P-Bass effect. I mean, notice I've got the tone up a little, got the clean boosted, maybe a small, small, small hair of drive. I've got the compression on high. I mean, just everything this pedal can do for you is awesome. And I really love um, the P-Bass tone that I'm getting right now. Obviously, if you're using a drive pedal, you might be somebody who plays with a lot of distortion. Um, we could take the drive way up, level way up, take the clean down a bit. Kind of see what kind of fuzzy sound we can get here. Uh, 
let's check out the compressor just a little bit. Um, I'm going to take the tone up about here, keep the drive and level at bay, keep the clean up. So this is with no compression. Let's go to mid compression. I'm going to take compression up high. I really like the sounds I'm getting. This is one of the most innovative pedals for bass that I've ever come across. You know, so many drive pedals give you so few options for how your drive should sound and give you so little option to blend a clean boost with a drive boost. To get to do both those things and also have compression on top of that, you have limitless possibilities with your sound. Hey, as always, God bless you guys, and thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you found it helpful or like the information, go and give me a thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos involving bass guitars, pedals, guitars, occasional tutorials, whatever it might be, uh, go on and subscribe to me. Um, I'm trying to put together a Patreon. You can go over and check it out, patreon.com slash rumblinman, uh, for those who would be interested in supporting the channel. And for even more frequent updates from me, you can check out my Facebook page at facebook.com slash rumblinman. Until the next video, take care.